Yo, I feel really good right now. I feel great. I think we both feel really we good for a lot of reasons, but before we go into it, I think it's time that we just let it do what it do. Hey. Rex, I count six shots. Gussing at the bando. A nigga jury real metal like a can no fleet. I went from rag to riches to a fit with you. Welcome to another edition of Swap Life TV <laughs> with the lovely Brittany L. Hey everybody. Yo, we have so many things that we want to talk about right now. Um, today is a whole lot better than yesterday, ain't it? Oh God! It yesterday was like better. the bane of our existence, and really? I can't even tell you why. It was just that we had great combo. We did, but it was was it the, it was the, the energy, equinox? Was it the, the autumn equinox? It's like. Yeah. Now transitioning into just regular fall. And fall is one of my favorite seasons. I love the leaves changing color, driving down Kelly Drive, driving yeah. down MLK. It's okay. beautiful. Okay. But that whole transition, we had two days of fall because global time, universal time, uh, eastern, western, whatever, all that other stuff that we were dealing with, it made things different. We're a whole lot better. Yes. And thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you to everybody who made us feel a lot better. I so, appreciate you. Um, One and all. Where do we where do we begin today? Because it's a lot of stuff again in the news Ooh. that is going Get my papers on. Together. Yeah, we're kind of like news anchor reporters. We have the special papers. We have everything on our phones, and we have these handy dandy notebooks. notebooks. <laughs> so we're ready for anything that comes our way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah. What do you want to go? Serious first. Um, casual first, somewhere take, in the middle. Let's let's go casual. I okay. think I think a median is always a good thing. Bring it in. So what I want to talk about right now is makeup versus natural beauty. Okay. You know, there are a lot of things going on social media where it's like the four boxes where it's like <laughs> when, when a person change. is like regular transformation too. And then and then it's like <laughs> the little blush. And then it's like the little forehead and thing. And now dudes are making fun of women for it. And then it. it gets crazy. Like yeah. a, a woman has been over. transformed from, uh, to wow. You know what I mean? So, no. I mean, like. Rick was, Ross to it, though? I Rick Ross to it. I mean, what do you think about that? I think, <laughs> I think makeup is a beautiful, great aesthetic that we have as women and as men. So let's not make it seem like it's just women that are doing this. Because any aesthetic is a makeup. So even wow. to the extension, no, it is. I mean, this is hair, I mean, haircuts, man, braids. Listen, certain we all try to make ourselves as beautiful as possible, right? And appealing to the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever your preference, live your life. You know, you try to look as presentable to a, a partner or just you know to make yourself happy. Do you wear a lot of makeup? And if so, do you wear makeup every single day? I don't wear makeup every single day. I wear makeup when I come on the show with you, and okay. when I host my show, because okay. these lights are oppressive. Y'all don't know. Yo, we got this fan. This beam? Is this fan on no more? We, this, the fan is off. Yo, I'm about to get up and go turn it on, because. This beam is, when I tell you. Look up here, Lisa, like, right there. This light is, what, right in my opinion, I think that it's nothing wrong with a woman who likes to wear makeup. I don't think so either. Just like there's nothing wrong with a, a man who, Wears makeup, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't wear makeup. Wears makeup. I don't wear makeup. But. Okay, no. See, the thing is, is that there's a certain level of makeup. What I'm talking, about. like, there's okay. no reason that, like, I saw the funniest Be beating meme. Her, beating your face. You, okay, you can beat your face all beating day long. Beating your face. And I actually am looking forward to the possibility in the future of mm -hmm. an interview with a young lady named uh, Beat Face Honey from Philadelphia. Beat Face Honey. She does immaculate makeup. Beat Face, we coming for you. Yes, you're going to come and comment on this whole topic but, as well. But the way it works, though, is just like everything. You put it all on, and then you put another, like, coat on. It's Coat. like it's, it's like paint. it's like surgery, man. Like the way it's this crazy. is my thing. I don't think that you should transform into a different being. Okay. Because of makeup. I agree. Like there's a there's 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 a way to overdo eyebrows. There's a way to overdo lips. There's a way to overdo makeup. There's a whole there's a lot to do. Prime example: men who get all this Beijing painted around their head. <laughs> Beijing, Beijing, the Wong Tang soup. You got like <laughs> you look like you took a sharpie and got busy. Like that's what it is, and we can tell the difference. Like. It just is what it is. But 
That's when you got that receding hairline and all that craziness. No, though. I mean, yes, but some people do it and like just try to fill their stuff in. Okay. You know, they have okay. weaved beards now. Weave they, beards? We, weaved beards. You mean like weave, like a woman's like a weave? Like a woman's weave. Like horse it, hair. It's not horse hair. Or it used to be horse hair, I'm sorry. But you know what I'm saying. Okay, okay. they have okay. Weave, weaved beards now, mm-hmm. as well as they have like weaved high top fades. I mean, the high top fade, I'm not going to lie, that thing looks good. The high gonna, top fade? We're going to post a picture. I'm going to show Sheesh. y'all. The, it, yo, look people at are, it. Look pe- at it. Yo, people are innovative, to say the least. I'm, I don't know anything about that. Shout out to the Egyptians for, uh, you know, generations and generations and thousands of years ago coming with that wig appeal. Wow. We, we've been doing it. So, are, there, are there any celebrities that have this type of thing? I don't know, so I'm asking you. I don't you. know personally because they probably have like the creme de la creme, but prime example, Beyonce. Oh, okay. Beyonce could easily put Thailand out of business and weave. Yeah? Yeah. All them wigs and everything she got, please. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Beyonce don't wear wigs. No, she don't. She wears what? what lace she, runs? L- lace runs. Alright, we're not we going to Beyonce. Whole we're not going to Beyonce. I love Beyonce, <laughs> and I know you do too, but I but do. We're not, we're not gonna but my baby. Long story short, I think the whole we're talking about makeup, right? Yeah. I think that makeup is okay. Makeup should enhance your natural beauty as well as if you have flaws that you're not trying to show, mm-hmm. accentuate like the best parts of you. It's just the same way as of wearing like I know that certain colors, certain styles of dress or Styles like a cut of a dress doesn't work for me. Okay. The same way you know that a certain suit style doesn't work for you. Oh, all my suits. Oh, all of my suits are perfect. Congratulations, but, but you I, win at life. But, but I understand what you're saying. He does too much. But anyway, so. Adjust his pocket as he square. Adjust his pocket square. Okay. That might be a so. thing. We might make that a thing. Adjust his accessories. But bygones, we'll let anyway, you continue. Anyway, we'll what continue. I personally think is that makeup is okay. I think that you should just use it within reason. Like the funniest thing I was saying, a meme I saw was like, I can't tell who these chicks are anymore. Our first date, we going swimming. Wow. Because I want to know what it is. Are you serious? Yeah. I saw you that. Know, it you, made me laugh. No, do you remember that Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I'm stuck Gina, in the basement sitting on the tricycle girl, girl getting, getting on my nerves. nerves. She going, going out, out of my mind. mind. I, I thought she was fine. fine. Don't know if her body is hers. <laughs> because it's getting crazy. Yeah, I like how pe- we did that just now, yeah. too. <laughs> but it's getting crazy how these days, now than ever, like, people are using so many accessories to, to beautify themselves. And like I said, I don't have anything against that. But it's interesting where a man such as myself can't tell if a woman has all natural hair. And that's another topic I want to talk about. We can't tell if her nails or her eyelashes or her eyes are hers. It's getting ridiculous a little bit. At least I think so. So, you know, I don't know. Like, what? When, do you prefer when is enough natural? Enough? I mean, do, what do you prefer? Honestly, man, like, I love natural hair. But if a weave is done right, and now we're on the natural hair versus weave thing, and that's like a big thing dun, now. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We need, like, things that make sounds. Anyway, <laughs> um... Like a soundboard to just yeah, like, like a soundboard. Yeah, like I would love some Chappelle, a little bit of everything. But in my opinion, I think that I don't have anything against natural hair or weave. I prefer my lady to have her natural hair, whether it be long or whether it be short. But I mean, some people prefer, you know, you have a whole thing about running yeah. their fingers through it. Is that yeah. what it is? Because if I check you the track, feel your I'm a, scalp. Like you yeah, wanna, if I feel a, like a track, if a, if a track just kind of catch I'm you, I'm a little like, whoa, like what just happened here? You know what I mean? So. What what about you, Miss Miss? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah. What about you, ma'am? Yes, address queen. Queen. <laughs> Recognize Queen Brittany L. L. So what do you think? I think that I think weave is okay. okay. I think that when we get into these belligerent lengths of thirty two, <laughs> forty two, like like certain is that like thought length. What is isn't it I like a, saw something isn't it like a you need the, for we need I'm bringing the jar next time message because you're dropping the you're gonna put inside the jar we're gonna write on the word on the jar the words that we're not gonna say okay that is one of them because okay. you, you in this thought length da, 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 I don't you, know but you could have you could have added three dollars to the jar so every time we we say a word we gotta add money to it yes that's oh, what, that's like what that. we're gonna do I like that a lot so. I don't think that I mean you know as long as you want your hair to be as long as you hair as long as you don't want your hair to be short whatever da, 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 it's all up to you but I think that there is a way to wear a weave that 
it shouldn't look just so Obvious. much like a falsehood. Like okay. your hair, like, and that's another thing about your edges should not look like kinky, curly. Like your hair, your edges should not look like this. And then you have three, mm -hmm. four feet of yakky Brazil Peru. So basically, Aka, your weave shouldn't something. touch your butt. Right? Because you won't sit on it. Your weave should, oh, because you go, so if you what if you wasn't going to sit on it, it'd be okay. I feel like, I feel like if you sit on your hair, there's a problem. If it's, especially if it's not yours. Because that's just dangerous. Don't get on any rides in an amusement park. Don't open the windows when you drive. It okay. It like blow out and it could be a very dangerous situation. You're not Got trying you. to get scalped because you decided to wear a certain hairstyle. Wow. So I say that to, I say all of that to say, Wear your hair is however you feel comfortable and this and that. I just want, like, I feel that there's a problem with weave when, especially for men and for women out there, like, listen to this. If okay. you cannot be comfortable outside of your weave as you are, there's a problem. Okay. I will say at this moment right now, all of this ain't my hair. It's not? Shut up. That's how men, we be getting tricked, man, because we don't be knowing. <laughs> at least I do not know. I just be like... Yo, that's a nice hairstyle. And if it's a nice hairstyle, I guess it shouldn't even matter, because right? Because it, it shouldn't matter. But at the same time, I understand, like, certain things aesthetically and, like, they, they feel different. But the thing is, is that, you know, like, I've had my hair, what? I've had braids here. I have, I've had Havana twists here. Havana twists. Like, when my hair was real long in the twist, I've had, like, my hair just out natural. Okay. And I have incredible shrinkage. This is my natural girl's journey. You know, like, my hair honestly comes... My, my hair comes to like here, my natural hair. Right. But I think the um, lack, it's a high, para, um, it has a high porosity, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. He, he don't know what none of this means. He's I don't know what none of, none of it means, but, but I'm going to do some research. All because that that's what I stuff do. happens. And basically, my hair can be as elongated as it wants to in the water, but then as soon as it dries, it shrivels because okay. it's very tightly curled. So let me ask you this though, because you have my stance on women in weave and natural hair. I don't have a problem with any of it. Would you have a problem with a man who had Remy coming from his face? What, yeah, what, I would, would have you, a problem. You with would, that. so I nah. would have a problem with no that. bueno. It's like quiet because forever. it's just like I, that's just. I guess I can't say that's just weird, but that's just weird. I haven't me. seen it yet, and I kind of don't want to see it. Philly is known for the beards, so if half these dudes are walking around with these beards that are, that don't that aren't real, then it's a problem. So does it look real though? Like does it? How does it look? The one that I, the beard that I saw, did not look real, real at all. Did it look like? Did it look Chinese or something? Don't you know how Chinese looked, when their hair is like completely straight? It looked straight? very straight, exactly. Okay. And it was on an African American man. Wow. So it didn't look real at all, and that was one of the throw off points for me about it. I'm gonna actually pull up a picture of it, and we are going to show it to you, uh, because you won't understand what it is unless you see it. I think that joint is, oh, that's. So it's literally like, it's like that. That, that look kind of real though. This one? Yeah, that look mad you real. You know what, I'm sorry. Fake beard men. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to leave it at that. We're just going to leave it at that. Um, Interesting. It's, it doesn't Stuff. look good. Long story short, and the, and the picture that I'm looking for is not coming up. I saw it on Facebook. Oh, you know what I'm going to type in? Yo, Facebook is her best friend. Facebook teaches you a lot of things. I haven't learned um, anything from Facebook two years before I graduated college. Because you following college. all the wrong people. Oh. Um, <gasps> no way. Exactly. 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 And things like... Yeah, yeah, he's combing it like it's his. Mm hmm And it's a weave. Okay. All right. All right. Everybody Google weave beard. We're going to get to a different yeah, topic. Just, yeah, yeah. We're going to hop on another topic very soon because that, my friends, is very interesting stuff. But you know what? Something that I do kind of want to talk about, which is kind of crazy out here, is 10 things that cause cancer that we're probably eating every single day. Mm. Now, cancer has been more rapid than normal. And a few of these things, most people wouldn't even think about. So I'm not saying that it's true. I'm not saying that it's false. I'm just, I just want to share with you exactly what's going on. So number one. Let's hear it. I'm pulling up some stuff so we can see. Microwavable popcorn. Okay. Really? Microwavable popcorn. Microwaves, that kind of makes sense. 
It kind of makes sense. Like I mean, the radiation and all the other stuff. Okay, but microwavable popcorn. That's kind of that's crazy. People eat microwavable. Well, is a microwave pop, microwavable popcorn at the movie theater? No, the 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 popcorn at a movie theater. When you actually go look at it, they have like this little tin that they put all the kernels in. Okay, and then it like steam heats it. Okay. So, I mean, I actually, I stopped buying microwavable popcorn a long time I don't even eat popcorn. I hate when the kernels get in my I teeth and my popcorn. gums. I hate it with a passion. I passionate. love popcorn. And I'll go get the bag of the actual kernels. Okay. Quick recipe. Everybody pay attention. Sheesh. Olive oil or coconut oil. You can even use vegetable oil. Put some sea salt in the oil. I don't know about vegetable oil, but we'll get on that in a second. Go ahead. Oh, Lord. So, you basically, you can get organic versions. and Because a lot of the things, what you're talking about specifically was giving people cancer and causing these things is genetically modified foods. Right. GMOs. Right. Google GMOs, hashtag it, and look it up on Instagram. You're just You'll taking a step out. right off the list and everything right now. But I'm going to let you. I'm, I'm smart like that. She, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, okay. basically, take the oil, put in some sea salt. Really good salt is Himalayan rock salt. You can get it at Trader Joe's. And then you put the okay. corn kernels inside of the oil. Uh -huh. Put a clear top over it so that you can actually see inside of the container. And then you basically just watch it pop. It's it's fun. It's kind of like Jiffy Pop, but like organically. When remember when you were little and that Jiffy Pop little thing you put on I the remember stove? It. I or mean, like we, I was a Girl Scout. Family, we, we, never, we never had it though. But I, I've seen it on television. And, and it popped and up the inside movies. the foil, and then it would yeah. pop open when it was done. Scare movie. Um, yeah. Uh, Home Alone. I remember all these sh movies. And I was like, Yo, what is this stuff? My parents didn't play that, so we didn't have none of that. So yeah, so I had a, we had an air popper okay. at my, in my parents' home. Okay. There was a, a it was the popcorn kernels that were in the one side, and the okay. hot air popped the corn, popped the corn. You had to put a bowl in front of the little thing. Okay. That look, these are kids things these kids today will never understand. But Neither here nor there. Okay, so we, ahead, we have thing. we have microwavable popcorn. I just gave you two, almost three ways to fix that. Yeah, so she did. Fix okay. It. The next thing is uh, canned tomatoes. Like I said, I don't know too much about really? these things, but some of the like stuff Like in pasta is, sauces and stuff? I mean, if it's in the can and it's a tomato, it might just be. Oh, wow. I Crazy, right. Next thing, processed meats. So obviously we know mm. about the processed meats, how these meats are now being handled and things of that nature. So I'm not too surprised about that, right? So the next one is Pink farm, slime, all that fake stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah mechanically separated meat, all yeah, that crazy stuff. yeah, yeah. Google mechanically separated meat or pink slime. You'll be mad. You won't go to McDonald's, Wendy's, or any of those other places. But apparently they got rid of those, though. They stopped doing it. Allegedly. All right? So We're going to put quotes the, around the, McDonald's. The, the Michael Jackson. McDonald's. Yeah. Wendy's. We're okay. going to say all it like that. So Yo, they said that they're not in the food business. They're in the real estate business. Did you hear that? No. Yo. Some McDonald's executive said it. Crazy. Anyway, next one is farmed salmon because you know, yeah, I, farmed yeah, salmon. That's, not, that's not, mm -hmm. not wild. Not wild salmon. Salmon, but like, it's crazy. Anyway, next one is potato chips. Even the kettles. I don't know. It just has potato chips. It's probably kettles too. I like the kettle chips. Okay. Next that one. Makes me sad. Hydrogenated oil, i.e., vegetable oil. Mm. Because they say, how can you squeeze the oils from a fruit um, organically? It's almost impossible. So they apparently they put like chemicals into the oils and then squeeze it so it's not all natural. So that's another mm. thing they talk about, okay. right? Learn something new every yeah. day. The more um, you know. The more you know, right? So the next one is uh, foods that are highly salted, pickled, or smoked. So, obviously, we know about salt and wow. we know about smoke. We but when they win. say pickled, they're referring to things that are put inside of like a jar and left there to do its Ferment, thing. basically. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, vinegar, which has like salt in it and all that mm -hmm. other stuff. So, it's that interesting. And some examples of these things are donuts, pizzas, hoagies, french fries, wow. pretzels, pistachios, and muffins. Yo, I was sick reading this, man. I was like, yo. I eat all of this stuff, y'all. Like, what am I gonna do? And you, and, and the irony is, some of the stuff you eat, thinking that you're being healthier. Yeah. Or so no. I was pissed about that. Or no. Um, the next one is highly processed white flour. That's a duh. Yeah. Obviously. Just, yeah. 
right? Mm-hmm. So you do your research on that. Um, like you said, GMOs. GMOs. Genetically modified organisms. Crazy. Google it. Um, I don't want to get... The, this could be a whole other show. A One whole day we'll have show. it. <laughs> anyway, GMOs are foods that have been modified by chemicals or grown with chemicals. Unfortunately, GMOs do not have lists on food labels, which is insane. Well, Other some countries do. do have them. Other countries do, but apparently right. we don't. But I don't know. I didn't do any of my research. I just, I'm just giving it to you. If you, you pay like, attention to certain organic milks in uh, bottom dollars, mm-hmm. save a lot, um, fresh grocer, Trader Joe's, all those places. If you look in, they'll actually have it in the corner. And it'll say verified, non-genetically like modified. GMO free or yeah, whatever, GMO right? GMO free, right. Right, right, right. So. so that's interesting. Next is refined sugar. Yeah. So this is like high fructose corn syrup. And man, this is in everything. This is in everything that I personally love. We got it in cakes. We got it in pies. We got it in cookies. We got it in, I don't drink soda. I rarely drink juice, sauces, cereals, everything. I'm, I'm pissed about it. But it's good to know these things because then you have the option to decide if you're going to choose to eat it or not. Um, another thing which I was a little sick about is alcohol. So apparently, alcohol use is the second leading cause of cancer, right behind, of course, tobacco use. Um, But they also say if you do it in moderation, that it's not too bad. Now, I'm not saying that taking any of these things individually will give you a greater chance of cancer, but I think they're more saying more so collectively. So doing these things collectively this will people, this is the cause, this is America this list right. should be just called America because right. from the top to the bottom right. a lot of people just live like this exactly so and then two just for the fun of it is red meat obviously and soda because soda has that refined sugar in it so how do you feel about this uh this list that I just spewed for you i think it just shut down a lot of people yeah i think you know if you think about all the different things uh Everybody Google and hashtag and search a company called Monsanto. Can you spell that? M-O-N-S-A-N-T-O. Right. And they Monsanto. are actually, oh, the, the the story behind them is so deep. If I could only like, we'll go into that another day, just like GMOs. Long story short, Monsanto is one of those companies that produces the food for America. And basically what we get from them is everything that you typically see in a grocery store. One of the things that they don't talk about is all the pesticides and different things that they spray onto these foods that we eat, as well as the genetically modified foods that they grow so that we can have food faster and have it in a larger abundance. America is very much the land of abundance. Like it's just like more and now and how fast and quicker. So the thing is, if you look at the actual gestation, for instance, of a regular strawberry, a regular carrot, a regular piece of corn, Mm -hmm. a chicken at five weeks and what it should look like growth wise. Right. It's much smaller in comparison to a genetically modified version. A genetically modified version, if you have a five week year old chicken, Mm -hmm. it's like maybe this big. Right. If you have Uh if you have and I'll and we'll put up the picture, but if you have a genetically modified organism animal, that's what GMO stands for, genetically modified organism it grows larger. It's almost kind of like, like, like steroids. It's that's exactly what it is. Have and you seen a show, the movie Food Inc? Mm-hmm. It talks about how these little chickens are force fed all this food that they normally wouldn't eat, and same thing Filled goes with all these fillers and exactly, all these and the um, same steroids. thing with um the, the cows. The cows. This, the yo, these cows couldn't even move, and yet. They're milking them. They're they're milking and they're, them. And they're and pulling they're out the milk that fast. So I crazy. think that one of the things is that, you know, you have to pay attention to the the evidence isn't missing. If you look at the in my opinion, the higher rates of certain diagnoses of cancer, for instance, mm-hmm. within children, autism, right. um, certain developmental disorders, all of these things lead to and even for um, young boys and young girls. You ever hear those little quiet commercials like, have you or one of your loved ones taken this medication? Medication is a whole nother conversation to talk about. Right, but right. But certain things, but these genetically modified organisms and um, foods that we're eating cause us to develop earlier. Right. So kids, for instance, like... So the girl who's 12 years old looks like she's 16 years old No, or she looks like she's 21, 22. Something, right? Exactly. So it's like, Cat Williams, one of my favorite comedians, like... 
years ago did this whole thing about he heard and he saw on CNN this whole thing like mm -hmm. the USDA has approved the sale of cloned meat to the American public. They have and we're eating it already. Right. We're going to talk about that later. But right. Long story short, the whole thing was he was like, why aren't people more outraged by this? Because basically now if you look at it, if you go to a what McDonald's, whatever, mm -hmm. you can get a salad for what? Almost six, seven dollars. Right. But the hamburger, the this, that, whatever is ninety nine cents. Exactly. Do the math. Something Since when right have you that. ever gone to the grocery store? Right. And beef was ninety nine cents. Right. Or like, and that's in the grocery store. So, so where are they getting this from? What exactly is it? What exactly are we eating? Right. So it's one of those things where he like basically was like, "You're gonna be looking at your daughter. She's gonna have a little horn between her bla her braids. <laughs> she can't do her alphabet right. She'd be like A B C D, ma, and she gonna move. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's gonna be her real life. And I mean, that's what's happening. So. We need to pay attention. We need to pay attention to what we're putting into our bodies, what we're eating, what we are ingesting, and what we're giving to our kids and our family and friends. Right. So here on Swab Life TV, it is our job to make sure that we are educating, inspiring, and empowering everybody who watches this show. That's what we do. We have our fun, but sometimes we'll hit you with the real. And I think that this was a real message Y'all wasn't moment. ready. You wasn't ready for that. Wasn't ready for that. Y'all you, you sitting at home trying to watch, and you Googling a lot of stuff. It's uh -huh. okay. So, but... A lot of the, it's a lot of interesting things that we talk about, and um, we hope that you've enjoyed the show. Um, I just want to say, and I, this is my little moment that I always do, you know, I give you that nice little quote about something positive. This comes from Terrence J. He said, continue to read, grow, and push yourself. Be great. It stands and it resonates with me because I'm all about being great, you know, honorable achievement in every field of human endeavor. Um, so, you know, that's just my little positivity moment for you, you know, and I, I'm, and Brittany always has her positive moment too. So we'll let her give hers once she can find it, but until she can find it, oh, you I got, got it. Oh, okay. I'm good. Okay. I will say success isn't about what you accomplish, what you accomplish in life. Mm -hmm. It's about what you inspire others to do. Your mm. success means nothing if you don't have the proof basically in the pudding of what you've done. Mm -hmm. So you can be as rich, successful, this and that, but how many lives have you touched? Because I think success is in the legacy that you leave because others are then able to actualize a dream, a vision, a plan, an aspiration because of something that you've done. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, life is all about planting seeds and then watering them because you honestly reap what you sow. Absolutely. So if you plant a lot of positive seeds in children and peers and loved ones and speak life into their dreams and the things that they want to do that are definitely positive you'll see that come to fruition in the future so i think that that's something that we should all aspire to do mm -hmm. with a lot of the information we talked about today speak some of that life into others let them know something the more you know mm -hmm. about things that they may not have known about mm -hmm. so Absolutely. I hope that people choose to use that in the best way possible and encourage others, inspire others. Oh, that was sweet. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was that was beautiful. Why thank you. Encourage guys. others because that's what we're here for. Exactly. So uh see I I'm almost I'm almost lost for words on that because I mean it it means a lot. So um always remember, inspire others. And thanks for watching another installment of Swab Life TV with the lovely Brittany L. And we look forward to you seeing what we do. It's going to be great. You know you love it. <laughs> Stay swab, my friends. Bye, guys. Push this right. Hold on. I'm going to join the wall. Stop it now. <laughs>